Hey guys, Sponge Murphy here. So over the next couple of weeks I'm going to be doing a set of videos looking at some of the units that come with the brand new Age of Sigmar starter box. And I'm going to be looking at the models, looking into details with them and I'm going to be comparing sizes with other models at the end of the video. So this week's video is I'm going to be looking at the Chaos Corn Blood Reavers. You get 20 of these in the set and these are fantastic. Um, you get 20 of you get 2 units of 10 and they are duplicated but they are fantastic this is so I haven't got everything in the box made but so far this is definitely my favorite unit in the box and um, let's have a closer look and uh, basically as far as I can tell and what people are saying these are like the new marauders for chaos and um, let's have a look at this is the leader guy I mean the detail in these is fantastic, they look great and you know these are starter set models don't forget you know this comes with a starter box I know you can see a lot of the glue on it but the detail in these is fantastic and each model in the unit really does look individual here's the musician guy with a huge horn um, you know they're very corn looking to have corn symbols all over the place even on this guy's back he has the corn symbol and um, this banner is freaking awesome it's a skin banner well I suppose you could put it any color you want but it's painted up like skin and that's how I'm going to be doing it definitely you know he has the big furry shoulders on him and around his neck a little bit of armor around the legs and the big corn axe and um, you know I just keep saying how nice these are, but like each one really is kind of individual in the unit. Some have an axe and a dagger. Well, pretty much they all have axes and daggers, but they all have like little individual pieces on them, like skulls, little corn markings. This guy doesn't have one on his back, and they're all mostly looking. Some have helmets, some don't. Let's have a look at this guy. This guy has the axe and the sword, and he has the little mace club thing around his waist as well you know and he has the corn symbol on his chest and everything Um, you know you do get duplicates which you know it's fine you know you're getting 20 of these guys like these two guys here are the exact same you know they're not one big unit it's, it doesn't bother me too much but um, the only disappointing thing I, as far as I can remember I don't think you get to make two guys with a banner like this is the guy with the banner and this is what the alternate part of him looks like. He's the exact same except in the banner hand he has a dagger. Um, it's the same with the musician. Uh, the leader guy is still pretty cool looking. He has a different head as far as I can tell. Yeah the, the leader guy is, now that I look at it a bit more, is a lot different than the others. He doesn't have the same weapon, he doesn't have the same head, he doesn't set it the hands, he has a like a one bladed axe. So you know. Um they're really nice looking. I'm especially looking forward to painting these up. There's so much flesh on it. I love painting flesh. Um There's like I like painting red as well. I'm looking forward to doing this banner especially. You know, there's a lot of cool details on these guys that are kind of you know they're meant to be I think run of the mill type of chaos guys they don't, they don't have a lot of high armor you're meant to have lots of them to die pretty easily but these models are fantastic now that I just spot this guy I like the armor on his shoulders see the kind of corn symbol there or the corn marking and the helmet is awesome Um, for size comparison um, you know, I can only compare them to so much like this is a normal peasant guy from the old world so zoom in and I get him all compared up uh, let's go with the unit champion and I load the camera down there we go let's just move these out of the way 
so yeah so pretty much he is muscly and much taller than this guy uh, just like the Stormcast he kind of barely reaches up to his chin maybe so that's him compared uh, Space Marine guy oh these are on 32 millimeter bases so they're bigger than Space Marine but they're not as big as Terminator bases I'm pretty sure they're 32 millimeter anyway um, you know, I was going to have another guy just to compare to the other side. To make sure it's just not this guy. Yeah, they're taller than Space Marines. They're not as bulkier because Space Marines have a lot of armor. Their shoulders are further and everything. But they're taller than... They definitely look like they could be musclier than what's underneath the Space Marine armor. And then finally, the Terminator armor. Yeah, the Terminator armor is much bigger than them. It's just like a size comparison, though. Um. Yeah, so that's it. See what one these guys looks like with the auger. These guys definitely look like they could go toe to toe with an auger. Go toe to toe and not win. Like, it looks like they're crazy enough. They look like they're mad enough to do for corn. They got the muscles. An auger will probably crush them with ease. But it does look pretty cool with the muscles and everything going up against an auger. So that's it then. That's it for the corn blood reavers. Definitely, probably the unit of the set. Um, saying that, I still have like a few orders to put together, and I still have a few orders to go through, you know, for this series as well. But for definite, these are the unit of the box so far. Um, let me know what you guys think. I'm looking forward to painting these, and looking forward to seeing what other people, other people's paint job and everything is like on it. So uh, make sure to hit the like button and leave a comment below on what you think about it. Uh, hit the subscribe button as well if you haven't. And once again, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next video.